Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the shop with me. Of course, I share with you guys, I try to share almost the entire store with you as I'm going through and then I kind of go in close to things that kind of attract, catch my eye as being new on the shelf or interesting or a good price. So this is my haul for you guys today. It does have some new items that came out at the store. Um, and so we'll just get started. I actually had mentioned this a couple weeks ago about one of these vases that I had transformed over a year ago into a vase and I actually gave it to my grandma. I chalk painted it and acrylic painted it and then I distressed it and I put beautiful peonies in it and I absolutely love it and I think I'm actually going to do it again. I know some of you guys were asking me about it so I'll link the card up above. Um, but I think I'm going to do something a little bit different with this one so we'll see if I'll post it to the channel as well. So it just has this little line here which I think gives a great detail when after you've painted it and then you're able to kind of like rub on it it just gives it such a nice distressed look oh I purchased um I shared with you guys there were little I've never tried these before they're made by kernels and chip poppers so there was this hot and honey one and then there was a parmesan and pepper one so I thought we'd give this one a try I'm not sure that the kids will really like it but it's got quinoa sorg sorg um, I don't know that one. So that was one of the snacks. I was just watch walking Bear out in the yard and we planted some fruit trees. And I was just wondering, here in Ontario, we are limited to what we can plant. So we got some cherry trees, apple trees, and I believe pear trees. And I was just curious, what are some of the fruits that you're able to plant in your area and that, of course, will survive? Because we're probably pretty fussy, can't really, peach trees won't do the greatest. Of course, we can't have mango trees and orange trees. So I'm always curious to know what fruit trees do you guys have that are you're able to pick if you wanted to plant them in your yard or if you do have them in your, your yard, what are the fruit trees that, fruit trees that you guys have out there? So. Talking about fruit, actually, that's what I kind of got on, was I bought some more of this orange sauce. It's made by Kiko Mam, and I was actually thinking I could make some orange chicken. Um, is it orange chicken? Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna try that. It says no preservatives, and this is a really great company. Again, I hauled one more of these teriyaki, but this one here is triple ginger. I did haul this a couple weeks ago as well. Um, I gave it a try and we enjoyed it. I diluted it quite a bit too with some water or you can put uh, a broth of, of some sort if you want chicken broth or beef broth to kind of um, tone it down a little bit so it's not so, you know, powerful. But half a bottle will do for a nice meal. And this is the 480 ml and you're gonna pay an easily $6 for it at the grocery store. So this is a great buy. And I also purchased one more of these teriyaki sauces. The, as I was checking out, I did look at the date. Um, don't ask me why I didn't look at it when I was in the store, but it is good till November of 2019. So that's quite some time if I'm not gonna use it right away, but I mean, one jar goes pretty quick. I purchased one more of these thick and chunky salsa, and this one's mild by the old El Paso. If you go to the grocery store, you will pay $3.99. However, it is a little bit bigger um, in quantity. So I don't think it's 440. It might be a little bit over the 500 or closer to the 600 mil. However, you can buy two of these with $2.50 and you don't risk it going bad as easily and stuff like that. So the smaller quantity actually is better. I'm not big, I'm not a huge salsa fan, but my husband is. So he's the one that kind of goes more through the salsa on his meals. I talked a little bit about the ground cinnamon last time uh, that I often find ground cinnamon mixed with sugar quite frequently and never find these. Well, can I say every store I've gone to fully stocked little uh, cardboard boxes, which was like awesome. And this is a fantastic price. I hope that, I mean, it's cinnamon. I hope it's good, but it says GMO, GMO and gluten-free certified. Um, I have had good luck with their spices before and uh in the black pepper well good morning my camera completely died i was recording the haul and it completely went out so you get to enjoy some coffee with me this morning 
and I'm using actually this mug from the Dollar Tree that I purchased a few weeks ago and I actually think it's so cute. The one thing though is I sometimes use the Tossimo machine and I use an extra large uh, coffee disc and so this one won't fit my coffee and a little bit of cream it overflows. So just to give you a heads up it's a little bit smaller than some of the bigger mugs. But it feels so nice it's really soft like it's smooth and and then it has like that embossing or engraving type of effect. Oh, and just in case you wanted to know what it says, I think you can see it, but it says the best time to drink coffee is now. So I think I left off, I had a bit of an oily fashion here, I was going through some of the ingredients um, for the kitchen and I think I left off on some ground cinnamon. So that's where, well, I was talking and I filmed it and everything, but it got caught, it was not on my film. So. Here we are. This actually expires in um, of January of 2021 and you get 85 grams. Now, I know some of you guys prefer to have the cinnamon and sugar. Some of you are saying that it's hard for you to find the cinnamon sugar mix. All you have to do is actually take a little bit of cinnamon and some of your favorite sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, raw sugar, and just mix it, shake it in there, and you're going to have the same mixture, um, which sometimes is used for glazing things and all sorts of stuff so pastries and things like that so if you prefer to have the sweetened cinnamon just again mix a little bit of ground sugar into your shaker and you're good to go so that was a, a great find for me and I purchased another one and my husband's using the other one on his uh, yogurt toppings and stuff like that or his parfaits and he hasn't said anything so I'm assuming it's good I bought some chili powder and again I never really paid close enough attention to the seasonings other than salt and pepper and I thought hey I'm gonna take a look and I don't, never noticed that there was chili powder and cayenne pepper and I use these a lot in a lot of in a lot of our dishes so I go through it quite frequently and quickly and I pay easily six dollars at the grocery store for our very small um, little containers so I thought I'd buy those oh so I did a on the channel there's a give there was a giveaway for uh, a Kasori pressure cooker and I made some chicken burritos and actually I bought a little can of the El Paso chilies so it was a tiny little thing and then I bought some chipotle sauce but then when I saw this here is the cooking chipotle chili I thought you know what this would probably work fantastic as a seasoning and you can even still add in like a your own seasoning or your fajita mix or something like that to give it another flavor but I thought I'm gonna to toss this into the pressure cooker next time with my ingredients and see if this works out because that's a that would give it like I can add it with broth and I can make that really nice and even the minced garlic so I grabbed I purchased one of these here and it does oh yes it says good till 2019 so this will last a I mean garlic we go through quite often as well ah talking about seasonings so I was really I'd seen these a while ago and I kind of just passed them up there I'm gonna open them up for you they are the sweetest little mason jars like the teeniest tiny little mason jars and I just thought if you're if you have like a red pepper jelly or something like that at Christmas time where you're serving I use the Epicare red pepper jelly and it tastes fabulous. But the thing is, the container is not huge, of course, but it's too big to put out for when company comes over. And you also don't want to be putting things into it and then like reusing and refrigerating and all that. So I thought I would put some of it in here and with a little spoon. I can put it next to the cheeses or something like that. And how wonderful is that? There's two little, two little, there are two little jars in a little package. And they're the cutest. You can make little scrubs, coconut. You can put coconut oil in here. You can um, make a sugar scrub, put it in the bathroom with you. A salt, Epsom salt, little gifts, candles. There's just so many things you can do with it. But I almost, I'm almost tempted to buy a couple more just because of Christmas and stuff like that. But we'll see. I definitely thought about red pepper jelly and then I have a rum jelly I buy from Epicure as well and I thought I'll put it in there so that it doesn't um, ruin my actual jar. Um, around Christmas time I purchased a ton of these for little DIYs and also as my cinnamon shaker, my hot chocolate shaker 
and um, I put it on my coffee bar so if you're making a hot chocolate or a cappuccino or something like that you have these beautiful little shakers and I think I'm gonna label them next time with little chalk little, little uh, black chalk stickers so that it says like cinnamon or chocolate or vanilla or something like that anyways these work wonderfully and they look adorable on your coffee bar oh you know me if you've been watching my channel I am absolutely obsessed with these jars I can't get enough of them my embellishments keep growing I think they multiply overnight because every time I look there's more but no it's <laughs> I buy too many things at the Dollar Tree and at Michael's look here come more so anyways I am going to buy another one of those acrylic organizers when they be, they go on sale at Michael's I am obsessed with them I'm gonna insert a little clip of them again if they are the best little organizers they're clear I can see everything I have once I open the little drawer and then these little guys are inside of it so I'm still slowly buying more my obsession is real with those oh Matt I always like having some painters tape for DIYing and all sorts of stuff so if I'm painting or I'm creating some sort of effect this stuff goes on easily and peels back without any res residue so this, this is fantastic and also obviously for painting. They have masking tape as well but I find that the painters tape works a little bit better for my DIY projects. Going with that I find, found some more burlap, can never have enough burlap ribbon. This one here has like a little bit of a, um, a fringe going on on the side and then of course your regular burlap but these are really cute for doing all sorts of stuff I thought these were all gone and I found just this one random so I bought it right away nautical rope can't pass this up it's got 10 meters and it's a, like a a white it's the largest amount I have ever seen at Dollar Tree they have a really small bag usually on hand of this stuff but for this quantity this is the best value so I grabbed another one of those so that was the last one actually I probably, probably would have bought more if I'd seen more in the craft department forever in time as you guys know are probably um, seeing in my videos that it is slowly going away however I find some like random new things at different stores I don't know if they're coming out of boxes I am so confused however I do notice that at my local ones that I shop at, they, whatever they told me they were putting out or whatever they had on hand is what they have out and it's not looking like they're replenishing. So Multicraft is definitely being um, stepped up with a new line under the Color Factory and it's all under the same umbrella. However, I did notice the acrylic paints at some stores are completely gone. So. If anyone has any more information, please feel free to let me know down below. I know some of you guys work at Dollar Tree, some of you are in management and have a little bit more insight than I do or even have contacts. I speak to some managers and I get certain information, but I'm feeling a little bit confused when I go to different stores. So I did purchase one more of these Forever in Time. I have a package and I've actually bent one of the picks a little bit. So it has two sizes in here. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I'm going to open it up to show you. And the reason I bought it was, well, I have other ones for crafting and you, you can you can weed if you have a Cricut machine, you can weed with these guys. Um, I have a purple one actually by Forever in Time that does really well. But see here, there's like this little tiny fine point. This is really pokey, so be careful. And then this one here comes with a thicker one. So that's the difference there with the two. And I do a lot of picking up with sequins and beads and I even do nail art. Sometimes you guys will see that I have little diamonds on my nails. Sometimes I line my nails with diamonds and I have to say that's probably one of the trickiest things to do is picking up little gems. So what you can do is take some sticky tack which is poster tack as well it's usually blue or white you can find that at the Dollar Tree and it's made by Jot attach just a tiny little ball at the end and now it will pick up your little gems or sequins or whatever you're doing or creating even if you need to glue something down to a page this thing is amazing so you can pick whichever one you feel most comfortable with and you have yourself uh, a little gem pick so they do sell them at uh, Michael's. They have them with little wax balls at the end, like actual wax. And they come in a three pack for I think $6. Of course you can apply a coupon whenever it's available. 
I don't like the look of the wax. It bugs me. It looks like air wax. It looks dirty and ugly. They need to make it look prettier. But yeah, so you make your own with your little sticky tack and you have your own little pick wrapper. I love these little guys. So I purchased, oh, I purchased it because I bet mine, I was trying to poke it through some glue stick type thing that I was creating and I actually bent it a little bit. It's easy to fix back and it didn't break, but I'm like, before they're all gone and I have to pay three or six dollars at Michael's for little picks, I better grab another pack. Okay, did I bore you to death with my little pick idea? I am a Dawn Blue user and I actually went to Dollarama and I saw the giant one point something liter Dawn for $4 and I regret not purchasing it because I was at Costco and I saw they had three not even 800 mil I think, um, so not even one liter for, it worked out to be $4 per. This one here is only 431, it's not blue of course, it's the Apple Blossom scent. However, it's working fantastic. And you know what I actually did was I had some Dollar Tree product. Oh my goodness. Hand soap or not hand soap. Oh my goodness. Dish, dishwashing liquid. It says hand soap on here and dishwashing liquid, but I guess you can use it for both. So I had that nice smelling one. It's like a bergamot something. And I found it was just a little bit too liquidy and it wasn't giving me the suds I was hoping for when washing dishes so I mixed a little bit of this with that and you know what it's working fantastic so until I kind of work my way through the Dollar Tree one then I will let you guys know if this is working just as well but mixed together it's working fantastic because the other one didn't have the suds I was looking for and I know suds don't mean clean but I mean like cutting through the grease it just wasn't doing it for me so I purchased two more to have on hand because the value is there they're also selling these at Dollarama for two dollars each so you're saving yourself 75 cents and i know that some of them were on sale recently for under two dollars i think it was 167 still can't beat the 125 at dollar tree so if you see them definitely pick yourself up one because i think you'll be happy with it unless you absolutely detest detest the smell because some people don't like apple smell right so that's the only downfall with that um what else oh thank you guys i asked in a video a while ago if you like the LA's Totally Awesome oxy Oxygen um, Powder, like it has OxyClean in it, Oxygen Chlorine Free, oh, I thought it had OxyClean in it, I don't know what I was reading. Anyways, I asked if you guys like this stuff for washing your stains out. Oh, it smells really nice, almost reminds me of the original Tide Powder smell. That is really nice. So, and I love Tide Powder, can't find it anymore even at Costco. And I like using it as a paste almost in like the armpit area, especially if my, of my husband's dress shirts. I find that the Resolve cleans it really well and then I just give it a little scrub and he's good to go. So I'm looking forward to testing this. You guys have said that you've had good luck with it, so I will let you guys know once I use it. So that was that. Um, I bought some just standard black acrylic paint. I bought two more of these, hard to find these, these went like hotcakes off the shelf they had a gold and silver at the time when i first saw them and there were no more gold but don't don't forget if you have a can of spray paint you can transform these or even paint you can transform these into whatever color you'd like so i'm thinking of doing some sort of aesthetic diy with that soon what else should i share with you guys oh here i might as well share with you guys um i might as well share these with you right away so this again is made by the Forever and Timeline and it's only found at one store that I visit. No one touches these things so I thought, you know what, I bought the little eyelet crocodile from Michaels and I was looking at the Tim Holtz eyelets and they were around $6 a pack even with a coupon. It still works out to be quite expensive for little eyelets, although their eyelets are a little bit more trendy and, and larger and stuff. They did have really, oh, they do have really big ones like this. Dollar Tree as well but they're like pastels but you know me and spray paint this is metal so easy 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 to transform them you can paint them or you can spray paint them and you're done like you have yourself I'm gonna buy I think a couple more of these and then just spray paint them whatever color I need however I did manage to find a couple packs like this so I bought two of those and what these are are little heart stars 
and squares. And there's the oil rubber on silver and um, copper. And then I bought two different packs here. These ones are different colors as you might be able to see there. So there's like a pastel color and then there's the there's the pastel color and then these are like a brighter color. And again, they're just round, but spray paint can change them if you need to. But I do love, love, love this blush pink that's in right now. So I thought I would use those. I found it, finally. It took forever to make it, but there's the unicorn washi tape. So, so cute. It says dream big. How cute is it for decorating Happy Mail? And then along with unicorns, my daughter is actually going to a little birthday party and the little girl loves unicorns. So when I spotted this, it's got four unicorn horns, a little rainbow and a unicorn lolly. I'm gonna put this on the actual outside of the gift. I always do that. I add a little something to make it pretty. It could be hair bows, it could be hair elastics, um, lollipops. I always add something with the ribbon. I don't know why, but that's been my thing for a while and I love it. Oh, going with the cute comment, I actually bought some pad thai. Oh no, chow mein, sorry. I don't know why I thought pad thai. Chow mein seasoning mix. And this is good till July of 2019, so a whole year. I mean, I will use that beforehand. Another pack of freezies. It's summertime. We are going through these like crazy. So I got another one of those. And I talked to you guys a little bit. I'm surprised I didn't eat this on the way home, actually. I held, I put it in the trunk and I'm like, no, I have to show it. This chocolate is delicious. So the it's, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it is, it says it's imported by... Mississauga produced in Italy. It's an Italian chocolate. If it's made by Nestle, it is so good. Like if you want to try a chocolate that has a nice chocolate flavor, it's not that synthetic chocolate. They have different flavors, different kinds. I'll insert a little link, a uh, little video of the different kinds that they have in this line here. Delicious chocolate. I'm a chocolate fiend, but I'm also a little bit of a chocolate snob. Sorry, I'm so slow. It's just that I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm still kind of getting going in the morning. So let me just share a few other things with you guys. And then I'll get to some of the good stuff again. I purchased a couple of these a few weeks ago to make little jello layered things that I was inspired by my aunt. And you know what? I'm having a harder and harder time seeing these at the store. I don't know if they're selling out. So I grabbed one more of them and I already had two. So just in case for summer I want to do like a cute little jello type platter. I love, love, love having these on hand all the time for pretzels and chips and stuff like that. I'll usually put these next to the bowl so that people can just scoop up some of their favorite chips or pretzels or munchies and then just put them in these little bowls. I also love having these on hand. And now with the summer, of course, it's more often that you have company pop in. So I like to have these for little appetizers. If you have something there, no. Come out of the oven or, and stuff like that. You can use these. These work really, really well. Well, of course, if your food's not boiling hot, you don't want to burn the, the plates. But I purchased one more of these. These are the Nut Delight Happy Swings. And I have a few of the coconut and one of these already from another store that I purchased for. So I just kind of slowly put them back into the bar area so that when we have company, of course, I have something sweet too, to go with maybe a coffee or a tea. I love these, love them, and I'm so happy that the Dollar Tree carries them. I purchased some of the little Flux fabric. These come with 30 latex-free bandages, and they are, I think they're, yeah, they're fabric. I just said Flux fabric. Oh my goodness, my throat is itchy. I hope I'm not getting sick. So I talked a little bit about the unicorns. Okay, so I, I purchased, thank you for those who, this was months ago, I think I showed it in a shop with me and then I had a really hard time finding this. And of course my husband says, he's reading his book and he says, oh, do you have one of those little clip-on lights? Um, he was flashing his cell phone on his book. It's late at night and harder to read. So I went immediately searching for these because I knew I had seen them and somebody had said that they worked really well. So I purchased one, I'll let you guys know if he has good luck with it. 
And okay, so I purchased a few more of these. These are hard to kind of come by at this time of year. However, both back to school stuff starting to make an appearance. These start to kind of come from the back room and then obviously the new colors for this coming September will be available. But I actually really like the teal and I love the gray. So I purchased these. Um, my kids are constantly making slime or playing with foam clay or making Orbeez things and all sorts of stuff. And of course you need a airtight sealed containers and I prefer them not using my glass stuff because that's where our food goes. So I'm not sure. I just, I rather them just have their own little things. So I purchased some of these because if the kids come over and make slime, friends come over and they want to take their slime, then they have a little to go. I did find that the little square ones from the Dollar Tree with the little white lid worked perfectly as well and they came in a pack of 10 or 12 but it's just they were too small and these have a little bit more space for the slime to kind of mold themselves into so I grabbed some of those and then I grabbed a blue pack because I just saw the blue one it was there was only one blue left oh isn't this darling so we have me my husband's like into music I call him a musician even though that's not his profession but he is uh, very talented and I just thought oh my goodness when I saw this I thought of him and I'm thinking I have to do something with it but I, I couldn't leave it behind the music note is just so darn cute anyways got to do something with that and then oh my goodness so a few weeks ago I shared a ton of the new creativity ink craft and gold goodies that they had stocked up on an end cap and I didn't purchase any of these last time but I said no oh my goodness the quality when I opened up the other little packages oh I, this was my favorite one but when I opened up the packages the quality was absolutely fabulous I was so impressed that I said nope I have to buy I have to buy the little cards so they are oh they're little notes little white notes like this so then you can use, remember those little gold letters? I'm gonna insert a little clip. I had the little gold letters that I bought. You can put one right here. You can put like a little gold letter right there and then that's gonna personalize it. So it comes with just a little white thing and then the envelopes are what, what just do everything. Like they're just fabulous. So these are perfect for Happy Meal and pocket letters and all sorts of stuff. But there's the two foiled, gold foiled heart ones. Polka dot. So there's two polka dots and two of the lined. Oh my God, these are gorgeous. Look, I'm sorry I'm glaring you guys with the light. And then there's two plain little crafts. So anyways, just the little MVs alone are absolutely beautiful. And I purchased, I'm not gonna open the other one because I purchased this one in case I'd like to send that in Happy Mail and I don't like to open things when I'm sending them away. So this one here is for me and the other one is for giveaway. And I think I'm gonna do the same with this one as a little giveaway I should have brought down I don't want to open it but I will link I'll put in a little box maybe I have some information of when I was opening it these little sentiments are absolutely beautiful I'll link up my card in the for the Dollar Tree from the past so that you guys can see them oh here I brought one of these down just to show this was from my collection already I bought tags last time as well and they were all beautiful like this with gold foiled little ribbon and well it's like a little cotton cotton twine and then the little gold foil tags and there were different shapes and stuff but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my haul this was i thought it wasn't very big but once i start taking things out actually it turned out to be a pretty good haul i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you all have a wonderful day thank you so very much for watching and until the next time take care everyone bye for now